You see what's happened to him. Reyes looks one to deep right center field. Kern's going back, and it's out of here. Jose Reyes leads off the bottom of the first inning with his seventh home run of the year, and the Mets have tied the game at one and one. Now the Mets have owned the first inning this year. And after giving up an unearned run in the top, Reyes gets it right back. Well, it's just a fastball sinker and didn't get it away enough. Let's look at the catcher's glove. Uh, he threw it right on the outside corner where he was set up. He's on a pace for 67 walks. And he rips this one to deep right, and it's over Curse's head. Reyes heading for second, and he'll settle for a two-base hit. Reyes right now is looking like he just can't be stopped. A nine game hitting streak in eight of the nine he's had two or more hits Fifteen games he's had ten doubles and now up among the league leaders and he hits this one to deep right center Kearns back can't get it home and Reyes will easily get to third and he's in standing with a three base hit and he's just a single away from a cycle a ball that Kearns probably should have caught but he didn't. He just missed this, Gary. Look. My goodness, he's got to catch that ball. Well, Reyes hustling so Reyes. all the way. And when he gets going, you know it's three. Well, he's got all the hard parts out of the way. Double, triple, and home run. Mets last cycle was by Eric Valent in Montreal a couple of years ago. Through the middle, base hit. And Reyes has hit for the cycle. Jose Reyes, the ninth Met in their 45 year history to hit for the cycle, and they'll take the baseball out of play. And I have never seen this ballpark so excited. Nine cycles in Mets history, only the third at Shea. Tommy Agee, John Olerud, and now Jose Reyes.